Oh man, people, today I received my personal holy grail of one six scale figures, the Hot Toys Sideshow Collectible Exclusive 1978 Christopher Reeve Superman. It is absolutely stunning. Okay, the first 12 seconds of this review are going to be asking you to subscribe and leave a comment or a like. I'm so close to being monetized. Okay, so this is the box it comes in. I'm going to go quick because I'm sure everyone who's watching this has already seen multiple reviews of this. And this figure is, what, uh, 10 years old at this point? So... Here's the back. Movie Masters. Some of the credits. In memory of Christopher Reeve, rest in peace. In my opinion, he's the best Superman there ever was and ever will be classic doesn't get any better so you open it up and the only difference in the sideshow exclusive is that uh, chain of kryptonite but I'm never gonna use that so it was pretty much not worth getting that version but comes with some extra hands Here's a look at the figure itself. When it's when there's not harsh light on the head sculpt, it's so amazing. I'm just doing this to really, really show what it looks like when you first get it. For sure it comes with the Fortress of Solitude, but I'm never going to use it. Mainly because I don't have enough space. It's nice to have, but... There's the regular base. And just my luck, it's missing the little bar that actually stands the figure up. So as I stated earlier, this figure is over 10 years old at this point. And it still holds up really well. It's, in my opinion, one of the best head sculpts I've seen. But... I used to own this figure a couple years ago and I started getting into fig pins and I started selling all my hot toys and this is one of the figures that I regretted selling almost instantly and I've just been waiting to find a good deal on eBay. I ended up paying $469.49 for this after taxes and shipping. There were a couple issues with it, but I'll get into that later. So Superman has always been my favorite superhero. I was born in 1975, so in the early 80s I grew up watching all the Superman movies. I don't even know how many times I've seen them. Brandon Routh and Henry Cavill did a really good job doing Superman, but they can't compare to the original. Let's check out that head sculpt. It looks just like him. There's the back of the cape. Looks just like it's supposed to. The colors are spot on. The insignia on the chest is perfect. Here's some of the articulation. It has a tons of different ways you could pose it. I'm not a big dynamic pose guy. 
I'm a boring museum poser, so I'm not going to mess around with it too much. Obviously the ankles can't bend a whole lot because of the boots. That's okay with me. There's a zipper on the back if you ever need to take the costume off. I never will. There is a wire going around the sides and the bottom in case you want to pose it. The cape, that is. It's a little stiff. I didn't want to take any chances of breaking it. The muscular body is a little taller and a little heavier than some of the other figures I've owned. And that's the way it should be. I think Christopher Reeve was a uh, six foot four in real life. Next, I'm going to take him outside so you can see what he looks like in natural light. I think it looks even better. So earlier I mentioned some of the issues I have with it, and it's only because of the, the seller. They didn't uh, tell me that it didn't come with that bar, like I said, on the stand that holds it up. The left leg has a slight imperfection in the suit, which I think the seller should have told me about. And the big S-shaped box that it comes in. There's supposed to be two little cardboard, um, well one piece that holds it in place so you can stand it upright and it wasn't included for some reason so I definitely messaged the seller. He's yet to respond but man I love this figure. It's gonna take a lot for me to ever get rid of it. It's almost perfect as far as I'm concerned. What do you think? I was hoping one day they'd remaster it, but they obviously aren't going to, so I had to pick one up. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.